So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Oh, hey! It's me, Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. And today, we're here at the New York Fire Museum in New York City, New York. <laughs> yep, New York City is a really big city with a ton of people mm -hmm. in it. And it's so loud. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. And firefighters have a very dangerous job of putting out fires. So they have a lot of training they have to do before they become firefighters. Whoa! Firefighters are so cool! Yeah! They're the real heroes! Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> and they help put out fires and save people! <laughs> They're just awesome! They <laughs> really are! Let's go in and explore! Okay, come on! <laughs> oh. <gasps> Let me oh. check it out! Look! <laughs> Whoa, look at these! Whoa, oh. these are fire alarms! Yeah! Fire alarms are really important because it's a way you can tell firefighters there's a fire! Emergency. <laughs> yeah, maybe you've seen a fire alarm in the building that you live in or in a school. They're mm -hmm. usually a lot smaller than this. Really tiny. <laughs> but these are so big. They're so big and they're all around the city. Yeah, in New York City on the street, you might see one of these. Yeah, yeah check it out. Whoa. Lift this up and you pull this down and it sends an alarm to the fire station so that they can come and put out the fire. <laughs> yeah, and look. There's a number on it. Yep. One, one, three. Ooh, and mine has one too. Nine, three, seven. Oh, what do those mean? <laughs> yeah. If you pull this fire alarm, this number helps the firefighters know where to go. Yeah. In the firehouse, the fire station, <laughs> a bell would ring nine times, it would ring three times, and it would ring seven times. So oh. the firefighters know where to go. That's so cool. And you can still use these today. You can? Yeah, they still work? That's right. Even though they're kind of old. Yeah, they still work. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. And they're made out of metal. Yeah. Nice and sturdy. Yeah. This one's so pretty. Oh, it looks so old. Like Rockefeller Center. You're right. So beautiful. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Speaking of fighting fires, I wonder what firefighters used to wear. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked because I see something over here. Come on. Oh, no something. way. Yeah. Check it out. Whoa. Yep. See. Oh, Flippy. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, firefighter jacket. Whoa. Oh, you should try this on, Flippy. Oh, oh, no way. It's a New York City fire helmet. Yep. Whoa. Look. These are so important because they're nice and hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to protect the firefighter's head. Whoa, and look, it has a number on it. Do you see? A three and a zero. The number 30. Yeah, and look, it has this big, mm, looks like, kind of like a patch. Yeah. yeah, it's the color black. Yeah, oh. I wonder why some helmets are red and some are black. Oh, yeah, because they have different vehicles. <laughs> oh. If it's the color black, then it's a fire engine. But mm, let's say it's the color red, then it would be a fire truck. <laughs> oh, Whoa. and a fire truck has a ladder on it, right? Yeah, that's right. And a fire engine has a really big hose. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's try it on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. How does it feel? Whoa! Whoa! Is it heavy? <laughs> it's so heavy! Whoa! 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 Look. And, hmm, oh, I have goggles! <laughs> yeah, you have double protection. Glasses yeah. and goggles. Whoa. Or a shield, I guess. <laughs> a shield. Whoa, look! It also Whoa. protects my hair and my eyes from any really hot, hot fire. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> super important for firefighters to protect themselves when they're fighting fires. Mm -hmm. You can also wear this jacket, Flippy. <laughs> Whoa! I'm starting to look and feel like a real firefighter now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! These Check jackets are so important because they protect you and they're made out of fireproof material. Oh, fireproof? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, it helps so that firefighters don't get too hot when they're really close to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire resistance. Yeah. <laughs> And this is a firefighter jacket, too. Whoa. Oops, oh, I put my arm through the wrong hole. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, that's good. Oh, and why, why would you wear one of these jackets? Now, this you would wear if you're going to a nice event or maybe marching in a parade. Oh, I love parades. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da yeah. Whoa, firefighters are awesome. Yeah. Look, <laughs> and sometimes firefighters get a little chilly, so they just need to wear a regular jacket. Yeah. So, 
They have jackets like this. Yeah. Whoa, and look, it has a really cool patch. Whoa. Yeah, it says City of New York. <laughs> yeah, because that's where we are. Yep. Whoa, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. Learning all about the things that firefighters need to fight fires. Yeah, let's keep exploring. I really want to find a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Whoa. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> wow. Whoa. It looks like this is the very first fire engine. <laughs> That's right, and look how small it is. Yeah, you see, it's so small. Yep, oh. and this. Whoa. Whoa. What's this, it's a big pole? Yeah. Oh, whoa, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey. I think it goes up there. Oh, you're right. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look. Oh, and I think one goes on the other side. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. You got it? I think I got it. Look. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, easy, Whoa. easy. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah. These posts would go on either side. <laughs> yeah. And two people would pump it on either side to help the fire hose work. Yep, it took some serious teamwork. Yeah. The hose pump would connect to this part right here and they would pump up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> yeah. And Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? It's so loud because it's the first fire siren. Yeah. Whoa, it's so loud. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ooh, can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the firefighters would use this to make sure that everyone knew there's a fire. You need to be careful. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and what are oh. these buckets for? These are really sturdy, cool buckets. Everyone yeah. in the neighborhood would have one so that they could help put out the fire. Oh, yeah. I think it was called the Bucket Brigade. That's right, the Bucket Brigade. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Put out the fire with this because back then they didn't have fire extinguishers. And sometimes it was hard to get hoses around to the right spot. Yep. Ooh. Everyone would just work together. Yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Anika, what's that over there? Whoa. Check this out. <gasps> Oh, look how big this wheel is! Whoa, it's so big! It's almost as big as you! I know! Look. It's almost as big as me! <laughs> wow! Whoa! Check it out! This looks like another fire engine! Hmm. Yeah! But this one doesn't have those hand cranks. No! Or the pumps. <laughs> no! No, this looks like it used steam! Yeah! Steam? Huh! Kind of worked like a kettle! Whoa. Maybe you've seen one of these before in Ooh. your kitchen? <laughs> yeah! If you want a cup of tea? You can just boil some water and steam comes out the top. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So that's what firefighters would use to put out the fire. Steam. Yeah, steam can be very powerful. Yeah, <laughs> and very hot. <laughs> <laughs> so they would make a fire to put out a fire? What? Make a fire to put out a fire? <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> Ooh, and would they use this? Yes, they would use this coal. They'd burn the coal, start a fire, Right in here. Whoa. So imagine that this is like a giant kettle. Yeah. <laughs> Had water in here, fire down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was boil, boil. <laughs> <laughs> and then the steam would help to make the hose work. Yeah. Yep. It would turn all these gears and all the parts of the machinery. <laughs> yeah. And then it would make the hose work. Ooh, and look, there's a fire hose. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Check yeah. it out. This Ooh. is awesome. Well, I'm gonna go put up the kettle. Oh yeah, <laughs> good idea. Whoa. Ooh. And did you know cool. that horses would pull this? Oh yeah, because back then, they didn't have vehicles that could drive like today. No, they needed horses to help. That's so, right. Yeah, they yeah. would take care of them too. Oh, <laughs> look out, I think this thing's on. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look Whoa. at this! There's another fire engine. <laughs> See? Wow, this one's even bigger! It's Whoa. so big! <laughs> yeah, they oh. just keep getting bigger and bigger with time. Oh, Mika! Huh? Hmm, there's a rope here. You want to pull it? Sure, I don't see a sign saying that I can't pull it. Yeah, I Let's think see. we can do it. <laughs> what? Whoa! Did you hear that? Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa, that's a really loud bell. Really loud. Oh, I see it up there. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Whoa. Now we have sirens, but back then they would use a loud bell so people knew that there was a fire and that a fire engine was coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This fire engine doesn't look like it needed horses. Nope. It has wheels and tires, just like a modern day one. <laughs> and look, a steering wheel. Yeah. This engine actually had an engine. Whoa. Yeah, you've probably seen a steering wheel before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what's hmm. that? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. people that there's a fire. Yeah, oh. now sirens sound like <laughs> But not back then. No, they sounded a lot different. Yeah, <laughs> loud noises are important to let people know that something very important is happening and to be careful and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was pretty fun <laughs> learning about all these vehicles. Hey, maybe we could see some more fire engines. Or maybe even a fire truck. Yeah, well, I hope so. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Check out this fire truck. Whoa, what kind of truck is this? Hmm, it's really big, and it looks like there are ladders on it. Yeah. Hey, this is a killer ladder truck. Yeah! yeah. It's so cool. See the big ladders? Oh, it's so <laughs> big. Yeah. Why wouldn't they need ladders? So that they can climb up to the top of buildings. <laughs> yeah. And to really high places to put out the fire. Yep. That's right, and if you look behind you there, Blippi, here's an old fire extinguisher. Whoa, yeah. Fire extinguishers are definitely helpful for putting out fires, too. Yeah, <laughs> you may have one in your house, even. Yeah, or see one at school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's this? Here, I'll help Here you get it out. It's Whoa, really it's big and heavy. Pretty heavy. <laughs> Whoa. This is so tall. Yeah. You know what it is? This is called a six Hook. Whoa. That's just what it is. Yeah, look, it's a little hook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is really helpful for firefighters a long time ago. Yeah. Because they would break a hole in maybe the ceiling, the wall, so yep. that they could put some water with the hose through the hole. Yeah. Break it and then spray in the water. Yeah, it also lets the smoke rise up out of the building. Yeah. Because smoke and heat rise. Sometimes right. a firefighter might need to break a window so the smoke can get out and the fire doesn't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh. wow. Whoa. There, that's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Here, I'll help you. Whoa. <laughs> Here you go. And Mika, what's this? Oh, so this is where a driver would sit to help steer the back wheels. Yeah, this part is called the tiller. <laughs> yep, there are two drivers. Two drivers? One in the back to steer the wheels, and there's one in the front with the horses. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. You know that a tiller ladder truck? Yeah, it was pulled by horses. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah, no horses today. But nope. back then, they needed horses. Mm -hmm. Whoa. An engine. Wow, oh, look at it. It's Whoa. so big, and it's the color red. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and look, here. Yeah, this is where the engine is. Yep. Whoa, this <laughs> it's is so, so big. Cool. <gasps> and look, Flippy. A bell and a siren. Hey, yeah, we've seen a bunch of those today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a really cool fire engine because, yeah, it didn't use steam or manpower pumping <laughs> the hose. <laughs> no, it uses gasoline. Yeah, the hose runs on gasoline. Yeah, there'll be an engine. It yep. would make the hose work. <laughs> oh, that's right. And if you look at the top here, Blippi, you'll see the hose. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, powerful one. It's really strong Whoa. and a ton of water can come out of it. Whoa, yeah. There's a hose that a firefighter could hold, but if there was a fire really, really high up, <laughs> they could spray it with this giant sprayer. Whoa. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Whoa. And what are these? Hmm, what are those? Hmm. Kind of hard? Wait a minute. Those are nozzles. Yeah. You're so right. That goes on the end of a hose. Yeah. So you can maybe spray 
a wider spray of water or a really narrow spray yeah. <laughs> so you can do whatever you need to put out the fire. Yep, that's so smart. <gasps> hey, we should pretend to be real firefighters. Oh yeah, that sounds super oh, fun. Do you hear that? Let's go put out the fire! Okay! To the fire! Okay! Whoa! so much about firefighters, but <laughs> we should probably return our jackets. Oh, yep. <laughs> right. Wow. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow, and firefighters have been around for so long, keeping our neighborhoods nice and safe. Yeah, do so many things to help. <laughs> and they use a lot of equipment and gear. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Help put out those fires. Whoa, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, firefighters, for being real life heroes and keeping everyone nice and safe. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B L I. P-P-I! So let me good job! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Awesome! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! See you later! <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika! And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk space rockets and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. Hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. rocket right here. Can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. 
circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. There's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you wanna get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station and the back part is called the aft station, and aft means rear, so the back. Wow. I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Whoa. Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Woo, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So. Let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, fit, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Oh, there's more buttons back here. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there. Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone, hold on tight. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, but now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you could make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would 
soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the space shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle? Right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa! I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the space shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> it was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. <gasps> What's that sound? Oh my goodness, look, it's a dinosaur. Whoa, are you a Velociraptor? Whoa, wait, I heard about you. Are you Stanley? <laughs> Can you show me some fun things to do inside Triple Play? Oh, awesome, come on. <gasps> Whoa, there's water. Yeah, yeah. oh, Stanley, you know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, hi, I'm Mika. <laughs> Whoa, Stanley, you're so nice to show me around. I love dinosaurs. <gasps> we should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stop. Stop, stop, stop. 
Like a dinosaur. Woo! What's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together. Ready? Whoa, Stanley! I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. What's something else that dinosaurs do? What? Dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all dance together. Yeah, you got the move, Stanley. Okay. All right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. <gasps> Whoa. Did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa! This place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa! Look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. <laughs> and do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Alrighty, oh, <gasps> let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on. Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Mika. Look, can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors. And they run really, really fast on their legs. Whoa. Look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa. Can you imagine if you had those on your toes? It would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this! It's like a water playground. They call it the Children's Lagoon here. Oh! Look at that yellow slide! That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow! Whoa! See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow, there's blue, oh, and all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa, looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs, and there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, here's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa. Wow. Oh, oh, come here. Wow. This is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa. Look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa. Is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa! 
more dinosaur footprints. Let's see where they take us. Oh, look at this. A crate of objects. Hmm. And we're by a giant pool. <gasps> that only means one thing. We should play sink or float. <laughs> Will you play sink or float with me? Awesome, let's do it. All right, let's see what we have in the crate. We have a blue bouncy ball. Ooh. <laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we throw. It's floating. <laughs> and we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh. Do you think it will sink or float? Let's see. Whoa! It went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. It sunk. All right. Will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. Oh, I love it. Will it sink or float? Oh, it floats. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Huh. I wonder if this will sink or float. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello. Whoa, I can see you way clearer now. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink or float? It looks like they're sinking. Wow, I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Oh yeah, another Velociraptor. <laughs> will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw. That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right. Hmm. Whoa. Hey, this is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. Oh, it's sinking. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float and one big jump? <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three, Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away. Goodbye. Ha. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome. <gasps> Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M E E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with velociraptors. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, <laughs> look, this box says meow. <laughs> oh. I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. 
all guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some pink colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> And they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool, a circle, a small circle and a really big circle. Hmm, which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one, the medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome. So did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect. And did you want to add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie? For my best friend. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion, fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller, easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here and oh, those yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. <gasps> and there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth. <laughs> Come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you want to push. Okay. Once it's on, you are going to run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay. So let's make this super smooth. 
time to sin. So we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at your <gasps> stencil. Yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base and let's dry! Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you wanna do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is gonna push all the bubbles out. Yes. Okay. Bye, bubbles. <laughs> so now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. Well, I did it. <laughs> wow. That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. Over the whole thing. 
like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect, so now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, uh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, it's powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each? Down towards you. So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear, That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Check it out. So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right. We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. We good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit. Oh, we did it. <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. That looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! 
Everything's about to fall. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the grain. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Whoop. Okay, we have one, two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. Nice. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks uh, again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. me, Blippi, and it is the holiday season. Oh, I love this time of year. Yeah, I'm just in this holiday cabin and I love bundling up, drinking hot cocoa, and even riding this holiday horse. Whoa! Wee! <laughs> yeah, my best friend Mika and I are decorating this cabin. <laughs> hey, Mika! Hey, Blippi! Hi, everyone! What are you doing? Oh, I was just decorating this tree. One of my favorite things to do during the holiday season. Wow, <laughs> it looks so good, Mika. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, and look, presents. Yeah, we have so many under the tree. Wow, look at this one. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, I love construction vehicles. Yeah, I thought this wrapping paper would be perfect for my best friend. <gasps> really? This is for me? Yep. Oh, that is so nice of you, Mika. Aww. Well, look at this one. <gasps> that looks fabulous. <laughs> well, this is actually for you. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Aww, I can't wait to open presents later. <laughs> I know, me too. Shall we keep decorating? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, we can do something like this. Oh, let's put it in a stocking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> That looks so cute. Yeah, <laughs> check out our stockings. Yeah, we have stockings and holiday plates. Ooh, in a warm, cozy fireplace. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mika, where did this come from? A snow globe. Oh. Huh. <laughs> oh, look. Wow, check it out. A snow globe. Wow, cool. And look what else is in there. Whoa, what's that? like some kind of note or something. Interesting. Hmm. What does it say? A winter snow globe with holiday cheer. For however you celebrate this time of year. Give it a shake, turn it upside down, and you'll be off as you travel around. <laughs> More than a snow globe, a small fragile toy. Time to experience some real holiday, holiday joy. joy. Wow. wow. So if we turn it around, 
we'll experience some real holiday joy? Oh, I love the holidays, let's do it. Shall we try it? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, look at where we're at. Yeah, oh, we're at a Christmas store and more. In Big Bear, California. Yeah, I bet there's a lot of Christmas things in there. Yeah, I love Christmas. Me too. <laughs> do you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like people singing Christmas songs. Yeah, maybe they're carolers. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Bells jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open, one horse open, one horse open sleigh. Jingle all the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Dylan, and I sing low. Oh. And I'm Karen, and I sing high. Oh. <laughs> and I'm Caitlin, and I sing right in the middle and sometimes low. Oh. And I'm Phil, and I sing whatever she's not singing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Cool. So you all sing different parts. Is it hard to sing all together? Well, we practice. And we each practice our own part on our own before we put it together, all four of us. Oh. And if we practice really hard, Hopefully we sing just as well as we just did. Oh. Oh. And you look really cool. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> These are traditional caroling costumes. Oh, oh. they're so fancy. Yeah. Do you wear them all year round? Well, only in December. Oh. <laughs> we get some funny looks in July. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe you could sing another Christmas song for us? Yeah, and maybe we could dance to it. Yeah, oh. great idea. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So exciting. Broom, 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 broom. Bells with bells of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Dawn we now our gay apparel, fa la 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 la. Throw the ancient jewel tight carol, fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for singing to us today. Oh, well, do you want to keep exploring the store? Yeah, I bet there's more Christmas things to find. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 Here we come a wassailing among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you, and to you a wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God bless you a happy new year. Wow, this place is awesome. Yeah, there are so many things for Christmas. Yeah. Look at this Christmas tree. Wow. So shiny. Oh, yeah. A Christmas tree is the place where all the presents go under, and you can decorate the tree as well. Yeah. A lot of people put a star on the top or an angel. Yeah, just like this. Mm -hmm. There is a star on top. Wow. So pretty. Yeah, it is so shiny. Oh, and look, a real tree. Oh. Wow. Oh, and look, these are ornaments. That's yep. what you decorate the tree with. Oh, I like this one. It's a big drum. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Ooh, and look at this. It's a train. Oh, choo, yeah. choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Whoa. Really cool. Ooh, and look. Yeah. I know what that is. Yeah, it's a reindeer. Yeah. Oh, here's one right here, too. Oh, with a cute heart on it. Aww. <laughs> yeah, probably because Christmas is a time of love. That's right, <laughs> and I love Christmas Whoa, yeah, they're so bright on the Christmas tree. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Aww. All of these ornaments. There's a lot of bears on them. They're so cute. Look, bears just canoeing. <laughs> That's silly. Look at this one. Oh. This bear is on a snowboard. Whoa, yeah. having fun. <laughs> wow. Okay, we should probably put that back. <laughs> wow. So many cool things here, yeah, Mika. And lots of Christmas trees. Wow, yeah, this one's 
bright and white and shiny. Yeah, really shiny. And I like these pretty hearts on it. Whoa, more cool ornaments. Yeah, ooh. Whoa. Yeah, another tree. Yes, I love these Christmas lights. Yeah, they're so bright. It's colorful. <laughs> Should we see what colors there are? Hmm. Looks like green. Yep, oh, here's a yellow one. Ooh, purple. Ooh. <laughs> Red. Oh, and uh, blue, right here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mika, do you see who that is back there? <laughs> I do. It looks just like Santa Claus. Yeah. Let's get closer. Come on. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it does look like Santa Claus. Should we meet him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Santa Claus? <laughs> Whoa! Who are you? Oh, I'm Orson. Orson? <laughs> well, Orson, my name's Blippi. Yeah, and I'm Mika. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Blippi. Nice to meet you, Mika. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> but wait a second. If you're not Santa Claus, why are you dressed like Santa oh, Claus? Yeah. Well, uh, I work here part time, but I oh. love Santa Claus. Oh, I, I really love Christmas. Yeah, and I love Santa Claus too. But maybe not as much as you, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you like about Santa Claus? Oh, I just love how much joy he brings during this time. It just makes everyone so happy. Yeah. yeah. He is a pretty happy guy. And I love how he likes to give presents to people. Mm. Yeah, he's being so nice. He's always in a really good mood. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know what he likes about Christmas most? What? Milk and cookies. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah, we love milk and cookies. Yeah, they're yummy. <laughs> if you want, around the corner there, you can make cookies for Santa. Oh, <gasps> that sounds like fun. Yeah, what a great idea. Yeah. But wait a second. Are these cookies for Santa Claus or are they for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you should just go and find out. All right. Perfect. <laughs> See you soon. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Yum! There are so many cookies here! Yeah, these must be the cookies he was talking about. Yeah! Whoa, we could decorate them! Yeah! Whoa, Mika, look at this one! Wow! Oh. It says Blippi and Mika! Yeah, our names! And it looks like a beautiful Christmas wreath. Yeah! And it looks so yummy. Yeah, wow. Whoa, that's <laughs> the biggest cookie ever! Yeah! Whoa, check this one out! Wow. Hey, that'd be a really good one to decorate. Yeah. It's a star cookie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about we put that there? And there's one here that would also be really good to decorate. And yeah. it's a circle. Yeah, a circle. Yeah. Ooh, check it out. We have some icing. Oh, yeah. Yum. Whoa. Ooh, and there's some more over there. Mm -hmm. Yum. All right. What colors do we have? Wow. We have yellow. Whoa. <laughs> and we have blue, uh -huh. and we have orange, <laughs> and we have green. Yeah. Whoa. Well, shall we decorate? Yes, please. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start with orange. Oh, cool. <laughs> one of my two favorite colors. I'm going to use yellow, one of my favorite colors. Whoa. All right. Did you want to do the star or the circle? I think I want to decorate the star. All right. I'll decorate the circle. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna do a circle around the circle. Whoa. Whoa. This icing's fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna eat some blue. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because blue and orange are my two favorite colors. Okay. Look, I made a smiley face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice job, Mika. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at what I made. Wow. Whoa, I'm not done yet, but it looks like oh, <laughs> I made an X or I made a plus sign. Yeah. Depending on how you look at it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> or multiplication. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give my star some silly hair. Whoa. That's one happy star. Yeah. <laughs> Yum! Okay, and I'm gonna fill in all of this area with green, and then I think I'm Whoa. done. Yeah. That looks really cool. Yeah. 
Whoa, does that wow. look <laughs> yummy? Or does that look yummy? That looks yummy. <laughs> wow. I think Santa would really love these cookies. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> well, shall we add a little more cookies to the plate? Mm. Just a few more? Yeah. Okay. He's All a right. nice guy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, maybe. He likes this one. Yeah, with the big chocolate chip in the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yum. All right. What about this one, Blippi, with all these beautiful colored sprinkles? Oh, yeah, I love sprinkles. Me too. Okay, and how about a gingerbread person? Oh, classic Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Well, shall we show them to our new friend? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right, let's go. Come on. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa, hey! Hi! Oh, Check hey. it out! Wow! Yeah! Those are beautiful cookies! Yeah, yeah. Thank you! <laughs> you can just leave them here. I'll be sure to give them to Santa. Okay! <laughs> Alright, thank you! What are you doing in here? Yeah! Oh, I was just uh, organizing some boxes and practicing my Santa laugh. Whoa! Oh, can cool. we hear it? Sure, okay. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Really good! Yeah, very good! Oh, I practiced. Yeah, I'm impressed! <laughs> here, uh, how, can, how about you guys try? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, here we go. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho! Whoa, yeah, Mika, nice! Thank you! Whoa. Okay, you give it a try. Okay, I guess. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> can you, can you uh, try with a little bit more, like, a deeper voice? Oh. Okay, okay. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho! Whoa! Oh my god! Yeah. That was amazing! So, just like Santa! Oh, yeah. Thank you so much! Wow! Oh, you guys did so well! Oh, thank you! Wow. <laughs> and the cookies are so good too! Oh, thanks! You know, during each year, Santa loves cookies, but he also loves receiving letters. Oh. Really? Yeah, I write him a letter every year, ever since I was a kid. Oh, yeah, cool! Do you guys want to write letters with me? Yeah! Sure. That sounds like a lot of fun! Yeah! Wow! So what do you do with the letters after you write them, then? Well, you leave it right next to the cookie, so while he's eating, he has fun, something fun to read. Oh, oh that's so sweet! Wow! Hmm. Okay, let's see. Here. Let's see, what should I write? Um... Okay, oh, he's gonna love reading these. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> I love getting letters from people! Yeah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shall we read them? To yeah. Each other? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> Dear Santa, you have fabulous reindeer. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mika. <laughs> oh, he's gonna like that. Thanks. Okay. I wrote, Dear Santa. I hope you love our cookies. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Flippy. <laughs> Aw, that was nice. Yeah, oh, sweet. sweet. <laughs> I wrote, Dear Santa, I love you so much. I've always looked up to you. You're my hero. So much love, love, Orson. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. He's going to love that. Yeah, you <laughs> really love Santa. <laughs> yeah. He's the best. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, we should probably get going. We have more holidays to learn about. That's right. Yeah. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Be sure to leave your letters next to your cookies. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And then you'll give them to Santa. Oh, absolutely. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much, Orson. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. That was awesome. All right. We'll see you later. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye. Whoa. Oh, that was so much fun learning about Christmas. Yeah, what a great day in this Christmas store. We did so many things. Yeah, those carolers, they were so good. Yeah, really good. And we got to decorate cookies for Santa. Yeah, and we saw so many cool Christmas decorations. Yeah, and we got to write letters to Santa. <laughs> and you can't forget that we practiced our Santa laughs. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, shall we head back to the cabin? Yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa, we're back at the cabin. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, Christmas is so much fun. It really is. And Orson was so nice and silly. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, check it out. <gasps> That gift wasn't there before. Yeah. Oh, here you oh, go. Wow. Oh, I wonder who this is from. No. Oh, there's, there's a little note. Let's see. It says, 
Mika and Blippi. Oh. Merry Christmas, Orson. Whoa, Orson got us a gift? That's really nice of him. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder what's inside. Mm, let's see. Did we open it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What Whoa. is it? Check it out. Oh. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Here you go. Let's see. What do you think it is? Oh, I see. Whoa, cool. Put it together and it's a star. Yeah. Just like cool. in the night sky, looking up, seeing those twinkling stars. Yeah. What wow. a cool decoration. Yeah. Ooh, maybe we could put it on top of the tree. Oh, good idea. <laughs> All right. Here you go. All right. Oh, let's see here. Okay. Excuse me, present. Right, uh, oh. Uh, oh, I'm not tall enough, though. Yeah. Tree's really tall. Yeah, mm. and that bench is not tall. No. Nor do we have a ladder. Right. Hmm. Oh, we have a trampoline. Oh, yeah, and I can jump really high on trampolines. Here you go, Flippy. Oh, all right. <laughs> right, try that. All right, <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, jump! Whoa! 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 Oh, wow. That was awesome! Yeah, great job, Flippy. Wow, it looks so good. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Let me put this away, okay? Oh, thank you. Oh, I love it. Our tree is complete now. The star is right on top. Wow, <laughs> I love Christmas. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, I wonder what other holidays there are this time of year. Yeah, me too. Mm. <gasps> the snow globe. Oh, that's right, we can travel somewhere else. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. We're at someone's house. Cool. I wonder what we're gonna learn about today. Yeah, me too. <gasps> Do you hear that? Yeah. Sounds like beautiful music. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, Mika, look. Yeah. There's someone right over there. Let's go say hi. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hi. Wow, that was hi. beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Wow. Who are you? I'm Baba the Storyteller, and you are? Well, I'm Blippi. Yeah, and I'm Mika, hi. Good to meet you, Blippi. Good to meet you, Mika. Nice yeah. to meet you, too. So what do you do? Well, Blippi, I'm a storyteller. I literally travel all over the world sharing music and stories in schools. Wow. That's cool. What do you tell stories about? Well, most of the stories I tell teach lessons on life mm. and help children to become the incredible adults that they are destined to become. Ooh, oh, nice. wow. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, we're learning all about holidays. Oh, this is wonderful because I didn't know who was coming, but I prepared to teach about a very special holiday to me. Oh, wow. What is it? The holiday of Kwanzaa. Wow, Kwanzaa. That sounds cool. cool. Yeah. Before we go inside, can I just tell you a little bit about the instrument? Oh, yes, oh yeah, please. please. Okay. <laughs> This instrument is an ancient harp out of West Africa that is played by the oral historians or storytellers. And they've been playing it for hundreds of years. And they say that the history of the people of West Africa can be heard if you listen to the Kora. Really? Oh, so it's called a Kora. It's called a Kora, spelled hmm. K-O-R-A. Wow. Oh, nice. Can we hear a little bit more? Oh, absolutely. I love it just as much. <laughs> I also love what you're wearing. Purple is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> is it really? Mine yeah. also, Mika. Oh, it, it, it's cool. mine. In fact, the history of this is very important. Oh, really? Now, in West Africa, the language that I've learned to speak, now there's over 800 languages. I do not speak 800 Whoa. languages. <laughs> but I do speak the language of Bamana. And in Bamana, this is called a booba. Booba. Oh, you guys did that so good. Oh, yes, it's called a booba. And boobas are, well, like here, when a person goes to something formal, to wear formal attire, they might wear a tuxedo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in West Africa, well, many parts of Africa, the booba is formal attire, like a tuxedo. Oh, wow, very cool. Fancy. You do look very good. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Well, we are so excited to learn about Kwanzaa. 
concert yeah. with you. I'll tell you what, since you guys are so excited, let's go inside and we can start learning together about the African American holiday of Kwanzaa. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh, I can't wait. Kwanzaa is a holiday honoring African American culture. Wow. wow. Baba, there's so many cool things here. Yeah, I see fruits. Woo! And some corn? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you guys are so excited about this. <laughs> this is one of my family's favorite holidays. Really? Yeah. What is all this stuff? Well, I'll tell you what. Because you're learning, mm -hmm. allow me to do it the way that I did with my children when they were growing up. Okay. Cool. Would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one of the things that we did is we sort of made it a game. Now, during Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa is seven days, and we use the language of Kiswahili out of wow. East Africa. So everything here is a symbol and everything has a key Swahili name. Wow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say the name of each of the symbols of Kwanzaa and then you repeat the African word or key Swahili word that you hear. All okay. right, will you repeat the new words with us? <laughs> yeah. So let's start with the fruit. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use this to point out everything that is on the table and then what I'll do is say it in Kiswahili. Okay. What is that? It yeah. looks like a ponytail. Uh, do you know every school I ever visit and my kindergartners always say this is a ponytail? Yeah. <laughs> but no, this is actually called a shu in Bamana. It comes from the tails of different animals. So back a long time ago, people farmed and they had their favorite animals. And when those animals would pass, well, the sheep was a way of remembering those animals. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Yeah. 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 So let me use this to point out the different symbols. Okay. And don't forget, say the Kiswahili name after me. All right. So the fruit is called mazao. Mazao. Good. The corn is called muhindi. Muhindi. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but the mat that everything is on top of is called Mkeka. Mkeka. Yes. And now this is very important. That which is holding the candles uh -huh. is called a canara. Canara. Yes. Whoa. And then we have seven candles to represent the seven days of Kwanzaa. Whoa, cool. Seven. Yeah. yeah, we know how to count to seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, let's play a little game. Okay. What I'm going to do is. I have a special way of counting the candles. So I'm gonna say the name of each candle in Kiswahili, okay. and then we will count each day, and I'll show you the special way of counting. All right, let's so count them. First day of Kwanzaa, we light the black candle. So, one. Umoja. Two. Kuji Chagulia. Three. Ujima. Four. Ujama. Five. Nia. Six. Kuumba. Seven. Imani. Wow. And those are the seven days of Kwanzaa, ending on January the 1st. Wow. And what do they all mean? Well, in English, Flippy, we start with the black candle, and it's unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and the final one, faith. Wow. wow! That's so cool how every candle has a meaning. Yeah. Yes, and every <laughs> night, every evening when we gather, we celebrate each of those principles. In fact, you know what? After we light the canara, we like to have a little fun. Ooh, are, are you guys interested in enjoying some things that we do in Kwanzaa? Yeah! yeah. Well, follow me over here and I'll introduce you to a few activities we have during Kwanzaa. Okay. Well, actually, Blippi, these are cocoa beans. Oh, oh cocoa yeah. beans? Oh. Yeah. Whoa! And look at all of this delicious fruit! Yeah! Oh, and something important about the fruit, that during Kwanzaa, it is important to eat the fruit. Oh. It is not there for decoration. It is oh. there to be consumed. Wow! Nice. Cool! Look, bananas! Yeah, and an orange. Ooh! And an apple! Yummy! Yum! <laughs> oh, look, a book! Wow! Wait! Is that you? <gasps> That's me, yes. <laughs> this, this is a book that I wrote about my very first trip to Africa when I learned the art of storytelling. And I learned to become a storyteller playing the Korra. That's wow. amazing. Thank cool. you. 
<laughs> what do books have to do with Kwanzaa? Well, books are a very important part of Kwanzaa, Blippi, because you see, with every gift that a child receives, there should be a book attached to it. Wow, wow. cool. Yeah, I love books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another part of Kwanzaa that was something that my children love to do. We love to play games together. Oh, we like and games. Yeah. Do you see this game here? This yeah. is a game? This is a game. Oh, wow, cool. How do you play? Well, Why? Let me explain a little bit about the game first because a lot of people are familiar with this game already. Here in this country, I think they call it Mancala. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've yeah. played that before. Yeah. But in Ghana, where this game came from, they call it Wari. So Wari, let me explain how it's played. Okay. Each of you would pick a side to be on. So okay. Mika, what side would you like to be uh, on? I think this side. Okay, okay. so Blippi, you'll be on this side. Perfect. So, one of the first things you're gonna do, Mika, is you're gonna pick up four seeds from your side okay. and then move forward, dropping them into each one of these little pots. Mm, okay, any one that I want? Any one you want on your side. Mm, I'm gonna choose this one. Whoa! Okay. And count. One, two, three, four! And now, Blippi, cool. on your side, you do the same thing. You can pick any of them. Okay, oh. I'll do this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, and the one you put in there, five! <laughs> that is wonderful. So all the objective of the game now is you, Blippi, have to capture on Mika's side, and Mika, you have to capture on Blippi, Blippi's side. Wow. So when you get on that side over there, Blippi, huh? you make four. Anytime you make four, you pick them up. And the wow. first one to make and pick up and empty the other side wins. Whoa, that sounds like fun. It's a yeah. lot of fun, actually. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. My children loved it when they were growing up. Wow, yeah. cool. And what do you do with the fruit? You said you eat it? The fruit is important. Not only do we eat it, but it's also symbolic of something, wow. Lippy Mika. Look, the fruit grows after, well, you know how farmers work. Mm -hmm. They work really hard. Yeah. So they put the seeds in the ground and when the seeds grow, they produce the fruit. Mm -hmm. So we eat the fruit because we have worked so hard to make it. Wow. Yeah, and in fact, this is celebrated in many parts of the world. Wow. <laughs> well, we do love fruit. It is very healthy mm -hmm. and tasty. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, you do so many things to celebrate Kwanzaa. Yeah. Oh, there is so much to Kwanzaa. You can be as creative as you need to be with Kwanzaa. Wait, creative? <gasps> That's one of the candles on the Kanara. Yeah. You remembered. Oh, yeah. Kuumba. Kaumba. Oh, you guys are so good at this. <laughs> yeah. You are wonderful. In fact, let me show you how I have been creative with my family during Kwanzaa with music and stories. Do you like music and stories? Yeah! yeah. I love music and stories. Okay, well, follow me and then we'll have some fun with music and stories like we do at the end of our Kwanzaa celebration. Yeah. Cool. Follow me. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I am equally excited. This was one of the favorite parts of Kwanzaa in the evening for my children, the storytelling portion. Yeah, yeah. we love stories. Yeah. Well, let me guide you on this a little yeah. bit. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to teach you a song in the language of Bamana. Oh, mm -hmm. Bamana. But it's real easy because some of the sounds you've heard before, and then we'll start singing and playing together. And every time you hear me sing the words, you guys sing back. Okay. Okay. okay, so repeat after me. E I A. E I A. Oh, that was good. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, I want you to make the sound of the letter N, but we're going to clip it. We're going to cut it short. So after me, repeat after me. Mm. Mm. Oh, wonderful. That is how you say I or me in Bamana. Oh, cool. So again, again, we're going to add a little more to it. E I A. E I A. Mm. De De. Mm, day, day. Kumala. Kumala. Oh, you are so good. We don't have to practice this but one time. I'm going to sing the song, and whatever you hear, you just sing back. Okay. So listen, this is what it sounds like. It goes. Kumala. That was so good. No, that was good for our first try. So let me sing it with you now. Okay. So listen, I'm going to sing and then I'll sing with you. Okay. All right? So let me go first. 
Ia ye ia ye ente te kumala. Ia ye ia ye ente te kumala. One more time after me. You'll get this. Here we go again. After me. Ia ye ia ye ente te kumala. Ia ye ia ye ente te kumala. That's perfect. That's perfect. You, now, I'm gonna play the chorus for you, and whenever you hear me sing that, you just sing back. And it, look, you don't have to sound exactly like Baba, okay? <laughs> you just have to enjoy singing back. So, however it sounds to you, give it back. Okay. Okay. Are fun. you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Now, there was once a little girl. She was maybe four, five years, no older than five years old. And she was standing outside in her backyard, and in each of her hands, she had an apple. So she had two apples, one in each hand. So her mother saw her through the back window of the house, and her mother decided that, well, she wanted to see if her daughter had learned to be kind, to share. So the mother, she went out to the little girl and she looked at her and she said, "I see you have two apples, one in each hand." And the little girl looks at the apples and she says, looking up at her mommy, she says, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm." Now the mother says, "Oh, the apples look so delicious." And the little girl, she says, "Mm-hmm." And then here comes the test. The mommy's going to test her. The mommy says to the little girl, she says, "May I have one of your apples?" Mm -hmm. And right after the mommy asks, the little girl takes the apple in her right hand and she bites into it and starts chewing. And then she takes the apple in her left hand and she bites into it and she's chewing. And her mommy cannot believe that she's doing this. Her mother looks at her and her mother is thinking, "I taught my daughter to share. I taught my daughter to be nice. I can't believe my daughter is doing this." The mommy is so disappointed. And then right when the mommy opens her mouth to Well, tell her daughter how disappointed she is. The little girl holds up the apple in her right hand, and she says, "Here, mommy, this one is for you. It's the sweetest." Aww. <laughs> 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 Go lower. Good. Okay, let's do a loud, loud, loud whisper. Okay, here we go. That was the favorite part of Kwanzaa for my children. They loved in the evenings when we would gather and sing together and do stories. Yeah, thank you for sharing that story and that song with oh, us. Oh, you're welcome, Mika. You're thank welcome. you so much for teaching about Kwanzaa today. You're yeah. welcome, Blippi. I thoroughly enjoyed this time with you. Aww. I really did. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We should probably get going now. Yeah. Um, really nice to meet you. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I will play music as you guys are leaving, so that you can hear, well, on your journey. The music of the chora. Does that work for you? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being with me today. Yeah. All right. See you later. We'll see ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Wow! <laughs> that was so much fun learning about Kwanzaa. Yeah, we learned a lot. We heard a song and a story. Yeah, and we got to play a game and then see that fruit in the book. Yeah, and we learned about the Kanara and what all the candles mean. Yeah, that was so much fun. Yeah, we should probably get heading back. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun! Yeah, we're back! Yeah, that was so much fun learning about Kwanzaa. It really was. It's so cool that we get to travel around and learn about different holidays. Yeah, and Baba was such a fun person. He was, and very nice. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Sounds like someone knocked on our door. Should we go see who it is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Hello? Hello? There's no one there. Hmm. Oh, Mika, look! Whoa! Package! Whoa! Whoa. Check it out! Oh. oh, it says to Blippi and Mika. Whoa! <laughs> from Baba. Really? Yeah, that's really nice. Wow, cool. Should we see what's inside? Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right. Hey. Okay. Let me make some room for you. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you right. go. Wow! <laughs> I wonder what it is! Yeah, it's a big package! Look. Yeah! Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow! Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! Whoa! Whoa! A big bowl of fruit! Yeah! Yeah! Wow. Ooh, maybe we could set it on our table! Whoa! Wow, there's so much in here! Yum! Yeah! Oranges! Ooh! <laughs> and some bananas. Oh, and look, a pear. Wow, Ooh. so much fruit. Yeah. <laughs> what else is in here? But there's more. Yeah. <laughs> huh. What is that? I don't know. A piece of wood. Interesting. <laughs> cool. And, oh. Whoa. Candles, I know what this is. Yeah, it's a canara. Yeah. So cool, we can have our own canara. Yeah, how about we put it right up here? All right, you want to help me put the candles in? Sure. Okay, <laughs> we'll start with the middle. Black one in the black middle. One. And then what colors do you want? Um, how about red? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, red is on your side. Oh, remember? that's right. Okay, All right, let's, let's switch. switch. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I don't want to light that yet. No, nope, not Kwanzaa yet. Not it looks yet. really nice in here. Yeah, it does. So sweet of Baba. Wow, I love the holiday season. Me too. I wonder if there are any more holidays that we can learn about. Oh, yeah. Why don't we find out? Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Jewish Community Center. In Los Angeles, California. <laughs> yep, yeah, this is a great place to learn about Hanukkah. Yeah, another fun holiday. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Wow. Ah. Look at this place. Yeah. Whoa, what's this? Looks like a bunch of candles. Yeah, and they're so colorful. Yeah. Whoa, look, this one's purple. I love purple. Yeah. <laughs> Green. And blue. <laughs> I love blue. Yeah. Pink. Purple. Pink. Blue. And green. Wow. Should we count the candles together? Yeah. yeah. One, One, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. Wow, that's a lot candles. of candles. And there's a big white one in the middle. Oh, yeah. And this one doesn't have a number. Yeah. Hmm. So there's why. nine total candles. That's hmm. a lot. Yeah, but eight of them have numbers. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Hey, Blippi. Yeah. There are more candles over there. Whoa. Wow. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, who are you? My name is Idana. Oh, Hi. nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. And I'm Mika. Hi. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you you guys too. Yeah. We're getting ready to celebrate Hanukkah. Do you guys want to learn something about Hanukkah? Yes! Yeah. We are so curious about that holiday. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Why do you use candles? 
Well, during Hanukkah, we're celebrating the miracle of a bottle of oil that was supposed to last for only one day, and it actually lasted for eight whole days. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot longer than one day. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> so here we have our candles, and you can see that there's actually nine candles. Yeah. The, the candle in the middle is called the shamash, or it's our helper candle, and we use it to light all the other candles. Oh. So each candle represents each night. Exactly, Eight nights. exactly. Would wow. you guys like me to show you how we light a menorah? Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. This is the helper candle. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. So you use the helper candle to light all the other candles. Wow. Wow! It looks so pretty! Yeah! Oh, so what are some other cool things that you do with Hanukkah? Well, after you light the candles, your family can sit together, sing songs, give each other gifts, and play dreidel. Whoa! Whoa. And I have something just for you. Really? <laughs> what do you mean? Like a gift? Well, like I said, we like to give gifts to our family each night of Aww. Hanukkah. So here, I have a special gift for you, your very own menorah. Wow, a menorah! That's so special! Cool! And this is where the candles go. Yeah, wow. thank you! Yeah, of course, and so after you light your candles, don't forget that you put your menorah in the windowsill so you can share the light of Hanukkah with Aww, everybody. that's wow. so nice! Yeah! Wow. wow. <laughs> And you said dreidel. Yeah, what's that? So dreidel's a really fun game. Would you guys like to learn a little bit more about it? Yeah. We love games. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, let's head over there and I can teach you some. All okay. right. Can we set these right here? Totally. Okay. All right. Here you go. Let's check it out. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. Did you guys see these up here before? Yeah. yeah. These? Yeah. Yeah. These are the shape of a dreidel because a dreidel has four sides. Oh. And on each side of the dreidel is a different letter from the Hebrew alphabet. Oh, wow. that's what these are. Oh, these are letters. Oh, wow. Yeah. So each one of these helps say a sentence. Nes gadol haya sham. A great miracle happened there, which is about the miracle of Hanukkah. Wow. wow. And then these look really similar. It is almost the same, but it has a different letter at the end. That wow. letter stands for the word ho, or here, because that's the dreidel they use in Israel where the miracle happened. Wow, oh. cool. Would you guys like to play dreidel on your own? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> wow, we've got lots of dreidels here, so why don't you go check it out? Okay. All right, see you soon. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, look. It's the dreidels that she was talking about. Oh yeah, and they're so colorful. Yeah. Oh, check it out. I have an orange one, mm -hmm. a blue one, yeah. a green one. Wow, oh. and there's purple. Woo, and yellow too. <laughs> I love those colors. Yeah. And look, the Hebrew letters. Wow, yeah, yeah. we just learned about those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and look at these. Yeah. The Jewish star, check it oh. out. Wow, <laughs> so cool. What's in there? Oh, wow, gold coins. Oh, I wonder what that's for. Yeah, we're rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, guys, I hey. see you found all of the dreidels. Yeah, yeah. they're so many. And we found a bunch of gold, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, those are actually called yelp, and I hate to break it to you, but they're made of chocolate. <gasps> Even <laughs> better. I chocolate. <laughs> Well, do you guys want to play the game? Yeah. yeah! All right, well, you got to put some of our gelt into the pot. Okay, how okay. about four? Sounds good. Okay. And then each person needs to have a couple of pieces of gelt to start as well. Okay. okay. You can have two. You can have two. Thank you. And I will have two. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right, so then somebody's going to take a turn and go first and spin the dreidel. So who wants to go first? Mika. Okay. <laughs> I'll do this one. Ooh, okay, yeah. here we go. Whoa! Wow. So this. that is the letter H. That means you get half of the gelt that's in the pot. Whoa! 
Wow. Okay, so half. So there's four coins. So half would be two. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You're so lucky. Now you have four. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You're up next. Oh my goodness. All what? right. Whoa. Oh, good nice spin. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. I got the shin. That means I have to put one. In. Oh, oh okay. so there was two, then she added one. Two plus one is three. Yeah. Wow. All right, Flippy, you're up. All right. Spin, spin, spin. All right, spin, here we go. Spin. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Come on, Jada. <gasps> Do you remember what that one is? I get it all. Not quite, <laughs> oh. oh, I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? That one means you get half of the pot. Well, how do we do that? There's three. Half mm. of three is one and a half. Do we round up or round down? I think we'll round up this time. Yeah. Oh, nice, you get two. All right, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. All right, one more turn for you. Sure. All right, here we go. Whoa, oh. very good spin. <gasps> What's this one? Shin, you oh. gotta put one in. Oh, that okay. happens. All right, oh, so there was one. Now there's two. How about you go again? Yeah. All right. Whoa. 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 All right, I got a hang, so I get to take one out. All right, okay, last turn, here okay, we go. you got this. Whoa, Whoa. Oh, yeah. Really good spin. <gasps> Flippy got a shin. He's got to put one from his pile, one from his pile in. Uh -huh. All right, there we go. Whoa. Wow. I have two. Wow. I have one, two, three. Ooh, and I have one, two, three. <laughs> wow. Nice. And you said these are chocolate? That's right. So now wow. you can open it up and have a treat. Woo! Yum. I love yummy treats. Oh, yeah. I love chocolate. <laughs> well, if you guys love treats, you haven't even tasted the best yet. What? What else do you have? Oh, really? my gosh. Well, on Hanukkah, we have lots of special treats. And because on Hanukkah we're celebrating the miracle of the oil, all of our special Hanukkah treats are fried in oil. Whoa. Wow! Cool! Would you guys like to try some? Yes! Yeah. Oh, before we go over there, do you think we could maybe bring a couple of these back for a souvenir? I think so. Oh, okay, which ones? Um, I'll pick blue and orange. Oh, okay. My two favorite colors. Oh, nice! <laughs> then I'm gonna pick Purple and yellow, my two favorite colors. Wow, you want me to hold on to them? <laughs> sure, for you? thank you. All right. Get all our treats. All right. All right, see you soon. Whoa! Wow! These must be the holiday treats she was talking about. Yeah, they look so yummy. Yeah. Ooh, look. Looks like donuts. Ooh. Yum. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and look at this. It smells really good. Yeah, it does, and it looks like fried patties of some yeah. sort. Hey, I know what this is. Applesauce. Ooh, yum, I love applesauce. <laughs> Me too. Ooh, and look, looks like sour cream. Yeah. I wonder if you put that on the patty. I don't know. <laughs> Hi. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. It looks like you found some of our Hanukkah treats. Yep. <laughs> and they look and smell delicious. Yeah. Well, there's some of my favorites. Right here, we have latkes, which are like potato pancakes. And usually, oh. people eat them with applesauce or sour cream. Oh, oh that waka. sounds good. Potato pancakes. Yeah, that sounds so tasty. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And then next to that, we have our souf gagneau, which are basically jelly-filled donuts. Ooh, I love donuts. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, would we try some? Of course, the Tea Bone. I hope you enjoy your treat. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you. Here's a plate for you. Thank you, Blippi. Nah. What are you gonna point. try? Um, I'll try some of this. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yum. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two gonna try? I'm gonna try a donut. Okay, here you go. Oh, thank you. Ooh, you want one too? Here I would you. love one. Yum. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's see. You should go here first. Here you go. Mmm. Mmm. How does mm -hmm. it taste? So good. good. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Yum! Is there anything on the inside? Yeah, check it out. There's yummy jelly inside. Whoa, cool. So good. <laughs> Yum. Try yours. Ooh, okay. Potato pancake. 
Maybe I'll do a little bit of applesauce right there. Ooh, good choice. And then how about some sour cream? Yeah. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that looks really mm. yummy. Okay. Let me try and do a little cut. It does look like a pancake. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what a fun day learning all about Hanukkah. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you so much. We learned about the menorah. Yeah, and we got to play with those dreidels. Yes, and we got to taste really yummy treats. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else that you can think that we might want to learn about Hanukkah? Well, you know, we also love to sing songs on Hanukkah. So if you go to the other room, you might be able to meet one of my friends who's working on our music for Hanukkah. Oh, really? We love music. Yeah, we do. That sounds like fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll go say hi to them. Yeah, All right. Have a you. great day. All right. See you thank later. You. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Hi. Who are you? My name's Mello. Oh, nice to meet you, Mello. I'm Flippy. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet both of you. Nice oh. to meet you. <laughs> Ooh. I love your guitar. Oh, thanks. Her name is Shira. Whoa, your guitar has a name? Sure does. That's Whoa. cool. <laughs> yeah. What kind of music do you like to play with your guitar? Well, my favorite kind of music is rock and roll. Whoa, Whoa. rock on. Yeah. But I also love to play holiday music. Wow, oh, We're cool. learning all about Hanukkah. Do you know any Hanukkah songs? Oh, yes. Let me show you the most popular one. Whoa. Okay. What's it called? I have a little dreidel. <gasps> we just played that game. Yeah. Oh, let's play it together. Okay. All right. I have a little dreidel. play that guitar really well. Oh, thanks. I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> cool. <gasps> Mika, check it out. I love pianos. Hey, I might be able to figure out that song on the piano. Could we maybe play together? Oh, I love that. Let's do it. Oh, Whoa. hey, Flippy, you should dance. He's a really good dancer. <laughs> OK, might as well. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I had a little dream. how you played the guitar, and then you played the piano. Yeah, it was really fun playing with you. I loved it, too. Yeah. And nice moves, Blippi. <laughs> Thanks, Mika. <laughs> Wait a second. I have a great idea. What? Why don't we bring on some backup dancers? <gasps> yeah! yeah.
<laughs> Check it out. Now we have these dreidels. Yeah. yeah. And this menorah. Wow, so, so cool. cool. <laughs> hey, let's give the snow globe a shake and head back to the cabin. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're back. Yeah. That was so much fun learning about Hanukkah. Yeah, and that was so nice that Idana gave us our own menorah. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, and you can't forget about the dreidels. Oh, Whoa. yeah. It's going to be so fun to play later. Yeah. Oh, and remember, she said that people put their menorahs in the window. Oh, yeah. Good thing we have candles. Oh. Whoa. There they are. All right. Well, shall we? Yeah, let's go <laughs> to the window. Whoa. Oh. All right. How about we put it right in the center? Yeah, good idea. All right. Whoa. Oh, and what if I put the snow globe next to it? Oh, cool. Yeah. There you go. And then I'll put these dreidels right here. Oh, very nice. <laughs> wow. Shall we put the candles in? Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> All right. Okay, here, let's count them. Okay. All right. We start with the center one. 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 <laughs> two. Three. <laughs> four. Five. <laughs> six. Seven. Eight, nine. Wow, it looks so good. It really does. Wow, Hanukkah is such a fun holiday. Yeah. <laughs> wow, all of these holidays were actually really fun to learn about. Really fun. We learned about Christmas. Yeah. And Kwanzaa. That's right, and Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah, I love this time of year because everyone just seems to be so happy. Yeah, and it's so nice to be surrounded by your loved ones and being thankful. Yeah, and spending time with your best friend. Oh, yeah, that was the best part. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> awesome. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> See you later. Wait a second. Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Mika. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Wait, Flippy. Look, do you know what I just realized? What, Mika? All three holidays that we learned about, they all do gifts. They oh. give each other gifts. Oh, yeah. Why don't we give each other our gifts? Yes. Yeah, Come let's on. go. <laughs> Wow. All right. Okay. Here's the one I got oh, for you. Thank you. And here's what I got for you. Oh, thank you. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get together. Take us all around Just give a little shake And then turn it upside down We're gonna learn about holidays in different places Many different cultures So many smiling faces First there's Christmas That's the one with Santa Claus Can you name all his reindeer without a single pause? We're gonna learn traditions Like what kinds of food we'd bake And maybe at the end we'd have an ornament to take Hey hey it's a holiday Holiday Let's get together and celebrate Everyone's happy, feeling great Come on, join us when we say We wish a very merry, happy, happy holiday Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas too It's the holiday spirit, you know what to do Come and join us when we say We wish a very merry, happy, happy holiday Don't forget the dreidel, give it a spin Yummy chocolate coins wrapped in gold for the win. We'll celebrate Hanukkah and learn what to do. And maybe we'll sample a dessert or two. I can't wait for Kwanzaa. Glad I brought my plate. Wow, look at the table. The meal looks great. Look at the canara and the decorations. Singing and dancing for the celebration. Hey, hey, 
it's a holiday, holiday, oh yeah! Let's get together and celebrate, everyone's happy, feeling great. Come on, join us when we say we wish a very merry, happy, happy holiday. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas too, it's a holiday spirit, you know what to do. Come and join us when we say we wish a very merry, happy, happy holiday. Happy holidays! It's me, Mika, and look where I'm at! I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on! Wow, check it out! We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa, this half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> and it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, two more giant crowns. Green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. Reminds me of a big, Donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course. But we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. Hi, I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you work here? I do, I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach? That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome, come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah, hurrah. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome! Thank you! All right, we're gonna jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo! Whoa, this is fun! Nice, okay, can you guess what I am? Rawr! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear! Oh, cool! <laughs> okay, let's see. Rawr! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa! Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big, like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a real gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. 
This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Nice. Oh, it feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck, okay? All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Oh, a blast, okay. One, <laughs> two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Boy, it so go. hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our lesson it. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! There oh, it is! No, no, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta-da! Ta-da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. <laughs> All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we wanna run fast. We wanna jump and reach up high. Whoa, that looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh, Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hands? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So we're going to fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> nice cartwheel. Thank you. All right, you've done some stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. In gymnastics, we also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I now. Think you're ready. Okay. Okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoop. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, now what? You're gonna tuck your chin. You're gonna turn your hand okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa. Nice, you went upside down. I did, I did the flip around the bar too. <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Whoa. <gasps> wow, this is a really long trampoline. 
mean? Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. Oh. And orange. They do look like fries. Look, it's like a giant fry. Ooh. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay, All ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp. chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop. Okay. And come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp? Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump. 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 So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. You. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Oh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right. First things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Get ready. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. <laughs> Back at the half circle, climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do a Kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balance. I got this, I got this, I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> well, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa! It's me, Mika. And today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? They're so much fun. Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air, or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun. Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Bubbles and, hey. 
you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand. Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> I only got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa, <laughs> look how many bubbles. Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right, there's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so many bubbles. Whoa, I'm gonna do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on! Whoa, look! Even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like Ooh. you did. Whoa. Whoa. You have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? You wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tiny one right there. 
So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like, how about your hand? You wanna try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm gonna catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. So, the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it was, a little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it, and then they can link together. Woo, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it, but I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand inside what? your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you wanna see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this <laughs> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes, do you remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it. Mm -hmm. All right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. So dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 oh. degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Yeah. Isn't it neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Wow, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. So they get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes! Oh, this bubble has moves. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make <gasps> a bubble arch. It's like a rainbow. 
All right, I'm gonna make one more just for you, all oh, right? Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! All right, do you wanna try? Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, get some solution on there and. Whoa! Oh, it's so pretty! That was awesome. Great job! Thank you! And thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no <laughs> problem! I hope you're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Have fun! All right, I'll see you later! Okay, bye! Whoa! <laughs> she knows a lot about bubbles. All right, I'm gonna do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one! Arch! Oh! <laughs> I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Whoa! I could fit inside of that bubble! That's how big it was! Whoa, <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me. <laughs>
Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. So what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines. I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow. <laughs> Quincy. Quincy? where we are in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange. Blue and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. Oh, maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere. Huh? Whoa. I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be in a trampoline park? <gasps> hey, there's a basketball hoop. <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three. One, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it backwards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. 
Whoa! <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew, you don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails. And cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance. And they're really good jumpers. <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! <gasps> that has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! <laughs> I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika. It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard right. Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Awesome. What do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just gonna touch the ground. Oh, okay, we're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Oh. You know, and then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. <laughs> Are right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Whoa, a jump twist! Okay, ready? Whoa, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow! <laughs> I got what else can we do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay, visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck. And roll. And then become the ball. <laughs> become the ball. Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. But first, you're gonna get a whole lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, Basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes you just gotta have fun with it in the air. Up over your leg. Wow. You're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly. It's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. 
Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm gonna take all of these things and I'm gonna practice and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I'm gonna go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hi, it's me, Mika, and today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today, I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you wanna pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oops. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so, see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Whoop, there's one down here. Three, four, Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. 
See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground, as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. Wow, look, it's a baby blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how? Kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <gasps> Check it out! A really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa! I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. Sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was so fast, that was awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's put this over here. And oh, my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out. It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come 
one. Let's see. Whoa. Super bouncy. <laughs> Whoa. This is so fun. <gasps> Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Oh. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Whoa, let's see. What can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey! You can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You could do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because the lemons are pretty sour. And you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half. Like that. And this is a juicer. I'm gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa, <laughs> isn't that such a pretty color? All right, now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so, I picked blueberries, I made blueberry lemonade, What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Hmm. Where are the sun? <gasps> I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. Found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? 
cool. M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, <laughs> look, this box says meow. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. <laughs> All guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and Yellow. And they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square, one, two, three, four even size. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool, a circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm, which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one, the medium stacked square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome, so did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect, and did you wanna add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie? For my best friend. <laughs> Absolutely, so we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller. Easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stacked pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here and oh, those yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah. All right. So you're gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. Good teamwork. 
work. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. thank you. All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth. <laughs> Come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze it over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base and let's dry! Okay, you're done. Wow. <laughs> okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough but this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Whoa. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you wanna do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool, and this is gonna push all the bubbles out. Yes. Okay. Bye, Bubbles. So now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. When I did it! <laughs> wow, 
That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. Over the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect. So now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. We look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, uh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. That is powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each? Down towards you. So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear, that's totally fine. Oop, there we go. <gasps> Whoa! That looks so cool! Look how good you did! Wow! Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. Look good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit! Oh, we did it! 
You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fall. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the green. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Whoop. Okay, we have one. Two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for the right. hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. Nice. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines! Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. 
I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa, look at this. There's so many. <gasps> This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Yes, Thanks, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. If you push down on a trampoline like this, See how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! <laughs> And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Ooh, see ya. <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time. Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> Oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Make like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <gasps> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Whoa, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Whoa, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. Okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go! <laughs> oh!
you for playing games with me. Oh, of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course. So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to put our arms like this. Okay. And we're going to do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two, two, three. three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, one two, two, three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah, how about we grab our foot you have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. Like flamingo. <laughs> exactly. All right, try your other foot. All right, the other one. Whoa, okay. It's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Whoa. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya.
and today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, this is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. Let's see, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> So once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Aww, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aw. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi! So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. 
She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart and super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat? Patio? It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out! I'm in a cat room! This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa. I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa. Do you know what this is? This long yellow tube. The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? 
Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Aw. Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aw, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aw, it's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun. Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout.